So I use this a lot in the code. It's these non-solid blocks and you can walk through them. And in the code I used spawners that spawn falling sand with uh, drop item set to zero. So when it lands on top of this ladder over here, um, it should drop an item, but it's not going to uh, drop because I got the tag drop item set to zero. So it's just going to disappear. But now you can actually use these command blocks. And as you can see, I've got the tile ID and drop item set to zero and time to one. So that's spawning those, but you can still see it's falling a bit and, and it's not fair. Yeah, it's, anyone could see you could just walk in there. So, um, well, that's why the, the leather is there, because if I use a torch, you can see it. That's, it's even worse. So, yeah, uh, to fix that, you can actually also use this. Just use tile ID and then just remove the drop item tag and time tag, because like this, it will, um, it will despawn immediately, because it doesn't have the, the time tag. Though, if you want it to be appear frozen uh, even more, you should use this one. As you can see uh, up here, it's, it, it just doesn't move at all. So yeah, that's really cool. Uh, I used motion and set the Y value to 0 0.04. That's going to make it move up a bit, but because of the gravity, it's going to fall down. And that's going to make it uh, appear frozen. Uh, the only thing you can see why it's uh, um, that it's a, a non-solid block is because of the lighting. If you don't want that, you should place it well right here or in the floor, for example. So if you fall in there, uh, so yeah, that could be a nice trap. Um, though these are a bit more different uh, clocks. You can't just use a comparator clock like this because, as you can see, it will start flickering. That's because um, a comparator clock only fires the command blocks uh, once every two ticks and this one fires them uh, one every tick. So as you can see it's it's gonna toggle be between those redstone dust. So yeah, let me show you um, how you can build this clock. It's very easy actually, but the, the powering is a bit tricky. Um, so just place these repeaters here and place some blocks above them then use this redstone torch to lock the repeaters and use redstone and a lever to deep power both of them and now you just got to power this clock here so you can stop the clock and start it again and then just place the command blocks like this and just make sure they both have the same command. So, like this, for example. And now, as you can see, it's just it's spawning uh, falling sand. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys learned something. And thanks for watching.